We all start the same in this life, but where we end up depends on the excuses that we don't make and the moves that we do make. Here's what I mean by that. When you start in your life, basically, when you're a baby, you have nothing going on for you. You're a little, weak creature that's practically incompetent of doing anything and you need your parents to help you grow up into an adult. But even afterwards, regardless, let's say that you're not like the 1% of people who have pretty affluent parents and you have everything handed over to you and you belong in the other 99% of us who in order to become successful have actually need to do everything by ourselves and become self-made multimillionaires. If you're in that 99% you don't really need to have any advantage over other people because all the advantages that you have, the moves that you make and the excuses that you don't. And what that means is basically that no one, no other person on this planet has an advantage over you. We all start from the same level, but we end up in different levels because some people choose to make moves, other people choose to make excuses, and it's as simple as it is. All I'm saying is, bad shit happens to people that don't move. You gotta move, man, you gotta make you move. When you try to build a body in a gym and you say that, oh, I've tried for a couple of months and it didn't see enough changes to motivate me to keep going, and you find an excuse that you don't have good genetics or that you don't have enough money to pay for your nutrition to eat properly and you say that over and over to yourself and then eventually you give up because you don't seem to be making any progress that's because you made a fucking excuse not because you actually had the legitimate reason to quit when I started working out I was skinny as hell I was, my arms were like as thin as sugar canes it was pretty hilarious, I looked pretty weak and I didn't have money to buy food. I actually had to wait in the line uh, in the university's dining hall. I was that poor in order to wait for a meal for a fucking hour in order to get chicken breast. And it wasn't even enough. I would have to go and take food boxes with me in order to fill them up with free meals so that I could have something else to eat at night because I couldn't even afford to go to the supermarket and buy food. I was telling myself that excuse that I don't have don't have enough money, I cannot build that body. But yeah, I persevered, I kept working out, and eventually I fixed the financial situation. And then I reached a point where I had trained enough in the gym that when I was able to afford the proper food, the results came in pretty fast. But had I made that excuse that I don't have the right genetics, which is something that many people say, I wouldn't have gotten anywhere in the gym, anywhere close to where I am right now. And the same is with money and business. I could have said that, for example, oh, I'm too young, just 19 years old. When I started my first business, I was 19 years old. I had no prior business experience. I quit college and I was like, all right, I have to make this work because otherwise my life will be ruined. So I could have said that I have no money, I have no business experience. So starting a business of my own and becoming successful at it is impossible. It's not for me. It's only for people who have money. It's only for people who have rich parents. It's only for people who've gone to business school. I didn't go to any Harvard business school, but I'm more successful than those guys that went to business school because I made better movies than them. And I'm telling you, we all start at the same place, but where we end up, it is entirely dependent on what excuses you choose to make or don't make and what moves you choose to make or don't make. And that's all that it matters. And every time you're trying to get results in anything, whether it's in the gym, whether it's in business, whether it's in your career, whether it's in anything, all that matters is a story that you're telling yourself about why you're gonna make it or why you're not gonna make it. Those are my two cents. Make more moves, make less excuses. And like my mentor Grant Cardone said, bad things happen to people that don't move. Adios.